Hello, this is Miss Ember Ash from Vamp Dance here in Austin. So, this is the prequel and sequel video once you got your fireman's been down. This is a great video for um, intermediate students as well as advanced. This is going to answer why am I not spinning faster? How can I get more momentum? Um, momentum is a little different on a pole. Um, usually, the further out your hips and your body is away from the pole, the sturdier you actually are. Um, to explain why this is so, um, is if you have your hand here and here, if your body is further away out, you're holding onto the pole. So your wrists are away from the pole. It's almost like you're hanging from um, a pull-up bar, okay? That was not vertical, all right? As soon as I kind of drop my weight closer, my hips closer, I'm gonna slide more, my wrists are closer into the pole. Great exercise to see this is if I put my foot on the pole and grab onto the pole and push out, I'm gonna feel pretty se secure. A lot of beginners can do this, no problem. You can put both legs in here, okay? But once I start bending my knees and getting my hips a little closer to the pole, I'm gonna start feeling my weight all of a sudden falling down, okay? So again, the further away we are from the pole, the faster we're gonna spin, the more power we're gonna have, and actually the easier it's gonna be on our arms, okay? So, you have your fit, your spin. Let's just break it down for firemen. A lot of things you want to check, okay? Just kind of check them off the list. Take a video of yourself doing a spin and see if you're doing all this, okay? You want to make sure your feet are close in, all right? If your feet aren't close in, you're going to lose a lot of momentum. This, with your legs out, feels a lot different from this. This, you should feel all your weight out. This cuts your momentum. So make sure that your feet are close in. Make sure you're up on the toes, okay? We're not wearing stripper heels right now. If we're not up on our toes, this is gonna add height. A lot of people ask, why do you spin so much more than I do? Well, if you are flat on your feet and your hands are low, by the time you get to the spin, you're already pretty much to the ground. So you have to make everything nice and tall right before you go into the spin. That brings into your hand. Your hand needs to be nice and tall. A lot of girls, and boys as well, when they're holding it, they're thinking, they're like, what am I doing, what am I doing? If they start right here where their spin is, they haven't noticed their hands drop. So by the time they swing in, they're already on the floor, okay? So if I'm walking and I don't know what I'm doing, then I'm like, my hand's dropping, and then I'm gonna start, make sure to re-grip high, and then go into your spin, okay? So high hand, up on the toes, close in, feel the weight out. Another thing that I find with a lot of ballet dancers or people that are trained to have their hips nice and straight is when you reach out, you really want to point this toe out. So you want to do a nice little X, okay? This, where my hips are now, is a lot different from this, okay? See how I just dropped my hips? A lot of ballet people are trained that pushing the hips out isn't a good thing, okay? So they, they'll walk around and they'll do a spin, just like this, nice. They'll reach out with their leg, they'll come around, and they'll do a nice spin. But if I drop this hip when I push out and come from here out to here, I'm going to pull more momentum. So just watch this, just from dropping the hip. I'm going to reach out, drop the hip, and then spin. I'm going to feel more weight pulling around and go faster. Okay, so check that too. That's a habitual thing. Some beginners actually do that nice and well because they're not used to keeping everything tight. But go ahead and drop the hips and really reach. When you reach, you're going in a big circle. You want to point your toe and you want to go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way around and keep the leg up and kick high, okay? So next thing to look for is where is that foot going, okay? You want to come here to here. Not here to here. Not here to here, but out around and up. You want to pretend like you're kicking a soccer ball where you kind of come here and up and across the body. You want to almost try to hit the pole about at your waist height. Okay, a lot of people lose momentum. They'll be doing everything really good up until they kick this foot and then they'll just face the pole and bring it straight to the pole. You don't want to go out to in. You want to go out to around and up. Okay. So check that. When you videotape yourself, you can see where your foot comes up on the pole. A lot of times, if you're not getting a lot of spin, you'll find that it's coming really low. So you'll come here and kick here. You want to come out and kick up. You're going to notice this is going to use your abdominals a lot. <laughs> okay? That means you're doing it right. So as you do this now, you want to pretend like your foot is in water. You're in a pool of water. 
And have you ever stuck out your foot in a, in a pool and had to like try to pull your leg in really, really fast? It's hard. You have to use your abdominals. You have to go squeezing. That's what you want to feel when you flip that leg in, okay? You want to reach, and then as you kick up, squeeze. And that squeeze whew, is, again, going to help push you around, okay? So you want to keep your chest out. If you turn your chest in, that's also going to kill momentum. So you want to always be kind of looking out here, all right? So this would be an example of a spin not getting a lot of momentum. I'm going to turn my shoulders in. I'm going to kick really low, and I'm not going to reach, okay? So I'm going to walk inside, outside, inside. So it didn't look bad. It was great. I just stayed into the close to the pole. Now let, let me do one when I drop my hips down, keep my shoulders out, and really kick up and high, okay? So we're going to go inside, outside, inside. You can notice I get a lot further away from the pole. I spun, span, spun <laughs> for a lot longer. I was more graceful when I got that distance, okay? So again, just kind of check these when you videotape yourself or when you're doing pole. So hands should be high, toes are up. When you reach, you're gonna drop the hips and really reach. You can even do an exercise where you come here to here. This is a great exercise that we do. Chest is in the same place. You're just dropping the hips. All right, you're gonna kick out nice and high, use those abdominals, keep leaned out, and go for it, okay? So again, we're gonna walk, kick out, nice big X, drop the hips, come around, and voila, you have a nice spin. If you're comfortable doing a fireman one-handed, it's great to extend this right hand out and really hug it in at the end. And again, it's using those abdominal muscles. This is a lot of power. Your core is what makes pole dancing controlled, okay? So, another example, if you're comfortable doing a fire in one-handed, reach this hand out, and at the very instant, pretend like you're hugging somebody underwater. All right, I'll show you what it looks like. So we're gonna go around, outside foot's gonna hook, I'm extended, and then I'm gonna hug the pole really quickly. All right, so play with the momentum. It's a huge thing for making your spins look amazing and stylized and all that good stuff.